Okay everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a little different. You are not going to see me because I look all kinds of crazy. And I literally spent like two hours in the grocery store getting groceries because it was packed. But I wanted to show you guys what I got. Yeah, I got all of this. It was kind of pricey. It was around like a hundred dollars ish, but I was very proud of myself. So I guess we'll just start with this bag, which is the heaviest. Literally this kid just like packed everything in here. It's crazy. So I got this Rudy's, um, Rudy's Cinnamon Raisin Bread because my grandpa, when he was still here, he loved to eat, um, what was it, French toast with cinnamon raisin bread, and I'm so glad. So I got that, and then I just got the regular Rudy's multi-green bread, and if you are gluten-free, this, in my opinion, is the most sturdiest, delicious, real-tasting gluten-free bread out there, and I definitely recommend it. Oh, this is why this is heavy. Okay, so I got some Florida Natural with pulp orange juice because it is delicious. I have a pepper here. Eggplant because I literally don't think I've ever had it. Maybe maybe it was like eggplant parm. Eggplant, what is that how you say it? Um, I got a head of lettuce. And then I got some butternut squash here. Also, some chopped kale, and I literally was in the store so long, everything's melted and defrosted, so that's fun. Um, I got some pickles here. I think he assumed because the bag was so sturdy that he could just put everything in one bag. This is just nuts. Um, all right, so I also got this little bag of mixed peppers, which I really um, think are going to be pretty cool. They're from Mexico, and they just have like red, orange, and yellow peppers, so I figured that'd be good for like my salads. I also got um, two sweet potatoes here, a red pepper, a cucumber, and literally this was like the best one there. Um, all the other ones were really tiny. Gluten-free chocolate chunk ready to make cookies, guys. I literally almost like said, oh my god, and like squealed out loud. I was so excited. So Pillsbury also has gluten-free cookie dough, pizza dough, and pie crust. Super exciting. You can find it where you can find the um, ready-to-make cookies as well. So in like your dairy section. But I got those. So excited. And then I just got butter. And this one is for my fiance. So this is country crock. And it actually was better than the other country crock that there is. So we're just going to throw that to the side over there. Sleep. Nope. I have so much to do. I have to sweep. Oh, it's ridiculous. Okay, so this bag over here. I got this fresh spring mix, and I'm actually allergic to dandelion. Um, bad things happen, so I had to make sure I didn't have it, and it says that it doesn't, so we shall see how that goes. I also got a bag of carrots. This is a very healthy food haul, if you can't tell already. Some green tea. I only got one box because Natural Market Basket, um, we shop there all the time, and I wasn't sure how this would taste, so I figured I would just get one box and see how it goes. And, oh geez, dropping everything. I don't know if it has caffeine or not, but one of the other ones were decaffeinated, and I'm like, I don't even know. Okay, look at this. This is just crazy. Everything's piled. Activia, banana, strawberry, as I drop it, and peach yogurt. And I was getting the one with the black cherry, but they are 100 calories per little container. So, yeah. And then this market basket, rice, pasta, and cheese, mac and cheese. This stuff is so good. I haven't had this specific one, but I've had the Market Basket gluten-free mac and cheese. And, um, yeah, I'm assuming it's going to taste exactly the same. But this is good. I only got one box because literally I could eat this all the time. And then I got some mushrooms because we all know you have to have mushrooms to be healthy. All right, so this is my water from Cumbies. And what we have here? Mixed berry blend for smoothies. I also got some celery, uh, thin and trim turkey breast. If you were looking for a very low sodium, low fat, low calorie turkey breast, I definitely suggest the thin and trim. You can find it everywhere, Stop and Shop, Big Y, Market Basket. Um, those are stores on the East Coast, but anyway, they should probably sell them other, other places. This is gluten-free cornbread mix, and this is like the best. Oh, it's so good. And if you cook it, you have to make sure it's spread like kind of thin, and then Cook it again. Like, take it out, let it kind of calm down, and cook it again. Oh, my gosh. So good. I also got... There's some collard greens. I don't know what they are, but they look good. Broccoli, two pounds, because we eat a lot. Some spinach. Uh, whole blackberries that are totally defrosted right now. This is crazy. 
And I got some more spinach because you can never have too much spinach. So throw that back. And then this is just the meat, which is, um, my fiance always gets the meat. And so I was super confused and had no idea what I was doing. Um, so literally I was just staring at the meat for like 20 minutes. I, I swear it was that long. It's kind of ridiculous. All right. So I got this sweet Italian sausage. I actually like to use this to make um, this really yummy homemade pasta sauce. And so I got that. And then I was planning on doing like a romantic dinner for him. So I just got these two steaks here as well. And let me see. But that's a surprise. And he doesn't watch my videos. So we're doing good. And then for me for like salads or if I make kind of like a pasta salad. I got this uh, breast tenderloin and it's boneless skinless. I've been hearing a lot about boneless skinless meat and so I thought I would try it out and see how it tastes. And then we got some kielbasa. I actually made homemade gluten free Chinese food the other night guys and I'm telling you it was better than actual Chinese food. You couldn't even tell the difference and it was so much um, better for you health wise and oh, I might do a video on it but it's like my little secret recipe now so. Um, and then what is this? Alright. I don't know why I'm doing that weird voice. Oh, boneless skinless thighs as well. And then the last thing I got is just this, um, skinless drumstick. So, hopefully he won't be able to tell the difference. But, um, yeah, that was actually the last thing I got. And I know $100 is a lot for all of this, but the meat was like, you know, 4 or $5 each. And then I have all of these, like, vegetables and these... Um, types of bread are like $4 each, um, so it definitely adds up. But that was it, and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So if you're stumped and you are like me and scan Pinterest before you go grocery shopping, just watch this video, jot down what I get. Seriously, guys, this stuff is so healthy for you, except for the cookie dough. Don't mind that. Anyways, but everything else is pretty healthy, and it'll last you a really long time. Frozen vegetables are just as good as fresh vegetables and um, for fruits as well. And that is it for this video. I know it's really quick and short, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick and I will see you later. Um, I'm going to be posting more videos weekly. I've been super busy and things have just been crazy. So I will see you guys later. Bye.